let us talk about gagan uh, an indian eye on the sky as you may call it and the ppt source is uh, from prakhar aditya and ms umara chandani so the contents will be like this uh, we'll start with the overview and implementation of gagan and they'll talk about technology demonstration and integration then sbs that is satellite based augmentation system then sbs segments and operations uh, going to then gagan core technology and what is the system configuration of gagan i n e r e s i n m c c i n l u s then what are the errors which are there and uh, advantages of this technology then concluding this uh, talk and let's start with uh, the overview and the history the navigation experts from all over the world has been discussing for many years about the concept of one navigation system this is very important every everyone has its own like us has gps then uh, you know russia has glonass now european uh, community is also is com- coming with another one so f- uh, to have a one navigation system that is available everywhere in the globe with steam accuracy this is what everyone is eyeing about and the satellite navigation and positioning system this represent the most important technological breakthrough uh, for civil aviation navigation surveillance and also uh, for air traffic management so the gps which is developed by uh, us that is united states is currently approved for s- supplemental use in all weather conditions but for the civil aviation community whose requirements are very stringent Uh, gps uh, is somehow uh, not meeting the requirement uh, so as we talk about the technology uh, this uh, and the integration of this technology gagan system consists of uh, a network of 15 uh, uh, indian navigation reference earth stations that is a n e r e s that is i for indian n for navigation r for reference or e for earth and as for stations this is spread all over the country that are precisely surveyed uh, to compare the position determined from gps satellite signals against the location of the receiver so the gagan signal is uh, currently being broadcast through two geo stationary earth orbit satellites uh, that is gsat 8 and gsat 10 which is covering whole indian flight information region fir and beyond one essential component of the gagan project is the study of the ionospheric behavior over the indian region so this has been specially taken up in view of the rather uncertain nature of the behavior of the ionosphere in the region because ionosphere is an important part uh, while while dealing with this kind of projects uh, the study will lead to the optim- optimization of the uh, algorithm for the ionosphere correction in this region then gagan uh, after all it's a final operation uh, null phase f- completion uh, will be compatible with the sbs system such as the wide area augmentation system was the european geostationary navigational overlay service egnos and the multiplex uh, functional satellite augmentation system msas and will you know provide seamless air navigation service across regional boundaries then um, if i throw some light upon sbs satellite based augmentation augmentation systems sbs such as egnos this they complement existing uh, global navigation satellite system gnss so sbs compensate for certain disadvantages of gnss also that is in terms of accuracy integrity continuity and availability so the sbs concept is based on gnss measurement by accurately located reference state station deployed across an entire area or region so the gnss errors are then transferred to a computing center which calculate differential corrections and integrity messages which are then broadcasted over the continent using geostationary satellites as an augmentation or overlay of the original gnss message so sbs messages are broadcast via geostationary satellite uh, able to cover vast areas so this is how the major sbs segments are uh, these are three geo satellites three uplink stations two control centers and this is the aviation industry and other also other um, industries also which may be benefited this is the gps constellation and these are the 15 uh, reference station so this is how the information uh, information flow takes place and the current scenario across the globe is this is was this covers was this is for egnos this is gagan this is msas 
so how gagan actually works the gagan system consists of a network of 15 uh, as i earlier also point, pointed out 15 indian na uh, navigation research uh, earth station i and rea spread over uh, across the country over the country that are precisely surveyed to compare the position determined from the gps signals satellite signals against the location of the receiver so the observed detail deltas are then sent to two indian Uh, navigation master control center in mcc where the computer processing will extrapolate the data to generate correcting deltas for gps signals anywhere within the network so these correcting deltas will be relayed via three indian national land navigational land uplink stations that is inlus and geostationary satellite to civil aircraft so more precise fixes of the, their position can be delivered from the gps satellite signals so in uh, aria sites with in mccs are connected using fiber optic cable you know these are optical fiber cable data communication network as well as through vset uh, link so this is the complete uh, system configuration uh, which has been uh, you know tested and uh, is under you know consideration this is how we have an indian master control center this is indian land up uplink station this is india reference station so these are gsat 8 gsat 10 and gsat 15 this still has to be launched and these are the gps satellite you know uh, so this is how uh, all communication will take place all good data processing correction takes place and ultimately it will be given to the user the, and the user is the uh, airport authority or uh, the you know the airport uh, air aircraft industry this is a joint uh, project gagan is a joint project between the uh, airport uh, ministry and uh, aircraft ministry uh, that is for you know navigation purpose and uh, isro indian space research organization and when we talk about indian reference station these are the in indian uh, reference station in rea station bangalore the inr uh, res correct measurement data and broadcast messages from all gps and geo satellites in view and forward to indian mission control center in mcc so altogether eight in res station uh, are established in india so this in mcc that is indian master control systems and indian Man master control center in mcc is established in bangalore now bangalore uh, kudakali the measurement data collected every second from each of the in res uh, receiver chains are transmitted in real time to the in mcc for correction and integrity uh, processing and generation of sbs message with the aid of the navigation software resident so the in mcc comprises of various subsystems like they have dcss data communication subsystems they have cnvs correction verification subsystem operation and maintenance subsystem omss and service monitoring subsystems and uh, if we talk about inlus that is indian navigation land earth uplink station this inlus receives correction message from the inmcc format those message from the gps compatibility and transmit them to the geo uh, satellites for broadcast to user platform so the inlus is uh, co-located with inmcc at bangalore the and uh, inlus also provide geo uh, satellite ranging information correction from the for to the geo satel uh, satellite clocks and the message formats and timing will be according to the functional performance specification which are actually derived from the mops minimum operation performance standard so this is in mcc building uh, bangalore in res facility still under consideration you know and ls this uh, antenna 11 meter antenna and this is vsat antenna so the possible range of errors may be uh, ephemeral errors Uh, this results when the gps message does not transmit the correct satellite location then ionospheric errors because of the free electron in the ionosphere this gps signals do not travel in the vacuum speed of light as they transit this region then tropospheric errors as variation in temperature pressure humidity all contribute to the variation in the speed of light in radio waves the multipath which is the error caused by reflected signals entering the front end of the receiver and masking the real cor correlation peak so the advantages of this technology is that gagan enhances reliability and reduces delays to aircraft gagan reduces workload to flight crew and air traffic controllers it enhanced meteorological information it also reduces congestion uh, it and uh, safety reduces delays and increase airport and airspace 
capacity so this is how gagan is this is the architecture and i as i said this is by airport uh, authority of india with isro uh, they together are you know convening and realizing this gagan and gagan stands for gps aided geo augmented navigation so this is indian satellite based augmentation system this is gagan coverage so we have G, uh, this gsat or insat we have inres in mcc and lus these are connected by fiber optic and these are the gps satellite and this is the aircraft which will be benefited and moreover other uh, things can other industries like you know uh, shipping industry and you know, transport industry agriculture train uh, train industry they will also be benefited by this so thank you so much and all the content of this uh, presentation is uh, from internet which is available freely and nothing is uh, confidential thank you so much take care